that. But if you want to take magnesium for some other problems, such as pain or muscle relaxing yeah. or something, then you take it separately. Right. But you should always take magnesium right. with your calcium. Or, la or a natural laxative. Oh, or, yes. or like you said, relaxation of the, the muscles, relaxation. Uh, uh, you want to sleep better at night. Magnesium is very relaxing. You want you take it by itself. But now calcium is a macro mineral. It is one of the most basic nutritional formula nutrients. Uh, it, it does require vitamin D in the right amounts. Any and with, I mean, see, I, with I magnesium with and boron and phosphorus and phosphorus, which comes from. There's plenty of phosphorus in, our diet. in the average diet, right. so there's no need to supplement in phosphorus. But in order to solidify calcium and, and, and form bone and teeth or whatever, you know, you have to have these ingredients. And, and not 400 international units of vitamin D. Oh no, it's now up to a thousand. At least. At least yeah. international there units. There are some people, there are some people I, I saw a, uh, a video uh, by Gary Knoll, and he interviewed this one woman. I believe mm -hmm. she was a doctor. Right. She was taking ten thousand. Ten thousand. Yeah, well, people people that have autoimmune diseases, uh, people that have deficiencies in vitamin D. Yeah, they take five to ten thousand international units. It's excellent for autoimmune afflictions. Despite the data showing their ineffectiveness, vitamins and supplements cannot be regulated by the Food and Drug Administration the way medicines are. Yes. In 1976, the Proxmire Amendment was passed, prohibiting the FDA from limiting the amounts of vitamins and minerals in supplements. That doesn't do the uh, 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 Codex element. There is, though, does it? No. No, they want to. They want to limit. They want to make all vitamins prescription items to make more money for the doctors. You see how how wickedly corrupt capitalism is uh, under Republicans. Dr. Mark Penn, a cardiovascular researcher, that probably is is he a. Uh, uh, a holistic cardiovascular man or no? Who spent 25 years at the Cleveland Clinic, I doubt it. No, he's probably pro-bypass surgery. Doing research on vitamins, once was a champion of taking supplements, specifically vitamin E for heart health. Did he really do fair research on vitamins? For I mean, many years. I wonder. Vitamins were touted as powerful antioxidants. They are. Substances that that protect against free radical damage. I was a believer. He was a believer. I still am a believer in, in antioxidants Today. And, and uncle oxidants. Ah! No, I, I take on. I'm, I'm going to be 55 August 1st. Today, director uh, of research at Summa Cardiovascular Institute in Akron, Ohio. I had put patients on it for several years. I started my parents on it. I had my dog on it. But in 2003, conducting a meta-analysis of 15 clinical trials, his thinking on vitamins was turned upside down. We showed that antioxidants, and particularly vitamin E and beta-carotene, weren't helpful to people's hearts. What kind of beta carotene and vitamin E did they use in the test? Did they use synthetic vitamin No. And they probably used tarcaphoril. DL, DL alpha tocopheryl is synthetic vitamin E. Natural vitamin E is D alpha tocopherol in a base of mixed tocopherol, mixed. which is the vitamin E complex, including, if you can afford it, the to I, tocotrienols. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The tocotrienols, which is definitely more money than the mixed the car for us, but <clears throat> And in fact, they were hazardous. Increasing the risk of cardiovascular events. 
eating a lot of sugar increases the, the, the risk of cardiovascular the events. The study was published in the health journal Lancet. Lancet, isn't that an AMA type of... Uh, that's a, UK. That's, that's that's the UK's v version of the... Uh, American Medical Association. Of the Journal. American Medical Association, the AMA... Um, uh, Journal. Um, New England Journal well, of that's Medicine. That's another one. That's, that's America. That's another one. New England Journal of Medicine, yeah. Plus the AMA Journal. That's right. the big one. And the Lan Lancet is from England. Yeah, that's the equivalent over there. Yeah. There is no study where patients had been given vitamin E and beta carotene that had shown to have an antioxidant effect. You can't use the synthetic beta carotene, people. The point being, you would not put someone on a cholesterol-lowering drug and not be able to show that cholesterol didn't go down. Cholesterol will go down, including the LDL, the LDL particularly in triglycerides, if you go on a low-carb uh, diet, avoid of refined carbohydrates and sugar. Doctors and researchers have a theory that too many antioxidants from vitamins might actually tip the delicate balance in the body of oxidants. Oh, really? While oxidants are believed to be harmful for their role in damaging DNA and cell membranes, recent studies show they also may be necessary in small amounts to kill cancer cells and invading microbes. Do they say, do they talk about the risks of taking any of these uh, pharmaceutical drugs? Not all yet. the negative side effects? They don't mention that, right? Not yet. But do you believe what they say about antioxidants? I say no. The notion that you can't have too much in the way of antioxidation is a wrong one, said Dr. Paul Offit. Dr. Paul Offit is a corporate whore and a big pharma shill, uh, I believe Dr. Richard Passwater, when he wrote that book years and years ago called Super Nutrition, Mega Vitamin Therapy Works. Dr. Offit is an outspoken mega vitamin opponent. He's an outspoken greedy bastard that's, that's, that's sucking the dick of big pharma. An opponent and author of Do You Believe in Magic? I believe in corruption and greed. The sense and nonsense of alternative medicine. Oh, See, really? he's nonsense. not only against the supplements, Herbs. he's against alternative medicine. Which is could be uh, uh, chelation therapy, ozone, uh, uh, hyperbaric oxygen and it therapy. it could also be chiropractic chiropractic, herbal medicine, acupuncture. This guy is a piece of shit. This guy is a greedy, big farmer. There's another Stephen Barrett. Corporate, Remember Stephen Barrett? Corporate whore. And that guy, the sugar, the Kellogg's guy from Harvard, that Carlton Frederick was always bucking heads with? The hell was his name? The, the, he was always against vitamins. Did Carlton Fredericks really let him have it? Yes, all the time. You call him the color, the, the cornflakes professor. And then there was that uh, the woman uh, who, no. who used to write for the New York Times, I believe, who was always against vitamins and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Jeez. People who eat a healthy diet, of course, they never define that, do they? Yeah, what where the hell is a healthy diet? From where? Your local supermarket? <laughs> With lots of fruits and vegetables. From your, you mean GMO? Are getting enough antioxidants. Ah, yeah, that's why they, they, they interviewed this doctor, this woman, that was talking about, you know, the average uh, balanced diet is enough, you don't need supplements. She looked like she had one foot in a grave. She was so decrepit and, and she was, you know, she was very shaky in her voice and she was loaded with wrinkles. You could, what do they look like? That's what I'm curious about. You know, they've all, the Gary Nolas, uh, they always get away with that. You got some fat guy, you know, who's always talking about uh, uh, health. <laughs> or you got some guy who smokes, and he's talking about health. 
you know, you never got a guy like Gary No, who looks you know, great, who looks great for his age. Yes, you know, and and people still don't believe him. An like athlete, that. yeah, a proven athlete at his age. You know, uh, 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 J the late great Jack Lalanne said the best way to teach not only your children but anybody, anyone, the best way to teach is to simply set the right example. Yeah. You well, set the example is the best way to teach. Of course. But the minute you step over the line and take these preparations and concentrate them, you do harm, said Dr. Offit. Chief oh, of yeah. Infectious Diseases at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Can you imagine? Can you imagine how this guy who doesn't believe in supplementation and is working at this infectious diseases of children's hospital in Philadelphia. How he is harming his patients. I guess he's I guess he'll never use intravenous vitamin C never. With, with an infected patient. Never. Which happens to work splendidly. Ever. That's what I'm saying. Why isn't it why can't we why can't we call these people on this stuff? Uh, when they're doing wrong, uh, they should be penalized some way, shape, or form. Same with the cancer industry. Chemo. Radiation. It doesn't work, per se, and it causes secondary cancers, etc. And it's still use. It's, yeah. the, it's the gold standard. I mean... I mean, surgery takes out a tumor, okay? But it doesn't cure the cancer, which right. is a systemic problem. Well, uh, um, uh, what do you call <clears throat> uh, gra um, graviola extract has been proven to be ten thousand times stronger than chemotherapy with with no side effects. But it ain't being used because it's natural. It's not being used. That's correct. I was That's telling your I was uh, your friend Esmeralda was telling me that she stopped her treatment. She completed her treatment, or whatever and she that's was. That's just the radiation. Right. She's now on tamoxifen. Oh, she so oh, she didn't mention that, and and she says, "Thank God, I I did I did not have to do chemo," but she didn't tell me about the tamoxifen. But yeah. when I told her about graviola and about natural supplements, she totally blew me off. She 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 just she did not reply. She went right into what the medical doctor wanted her to do. So and you see how... given her some steps to be taken, she hasn't taken one yet. No, no, and do you Not see one. how brainwashed... I don't understand psychologically why people are so brainwashed by their medical doctors and by drugs. You, you tell them about these things, say, same thing with my relatives, you, you tell them about supplements in the proper dosage and herbs and, and how they, they work miracles, and nobody listens. Yes. And the thing of it is, in her condition, her condition was a situation where it was a minute thing that they took out. Yeah. And in 97% of cases yeah. with that condition, yeah. nothing further will happen until you croak. Nothing further. It's like it's like there was with, nothing more to do. It's like with that other idiot Angelina Jolie did sacrificed yeah. both her breasts, breasts and she had nothing wrong with her breasts. Correct. Based on a a pre a hereditary a, yeah. a hereditary predisposition by her family to cancer. Yeah. Hereditary predisposition. Right. Based on that. But, based based on what what if what might happen. But the point was she was. Talked into the, the the doctors talked her into doing radiation and now tamoxifen. And her dopey in a condition. What I said, ninety seven yeah. percent of all people who have this condition will never be bothered by anything ever again until no. they croak. Nothing. And her and her dopey husband, there, Brad Pitt, supported her in the interview. Oh, I supported my wife and what she did. But what uh, a they'll schmuck! They'll be divorced soon. What a schmuck! Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now. They will be divorced soon. You know who makes a lot of sense? He's a smart guy. Very wise, though. Wise for wisdom. I like Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp is... Pirate. A, he's 50 years old, you know. Believe it or not. 
Johnny Depp, he looks he looks young, but I'm saying I would not playing Tonto. <laughs> oh, with that what is that, a dead crow on his Yes. Head? Yes. <laughs> Well, he, he is a, a, a strong advocate at uh, protecting and, and including the rights of indigenous people, Native Americans. Well, their rights are gone. I mean, they're never going to get them back. Oh, they were, ripped, they were ripped off terribly, yeah. the indigenous peoples. Even in Australia, my friend in Australia yeah, New Zealand. runs the Aboriginal uh, uh, Society uh, you know, against the uh, bigotry uh, uh, against uh, Aboriginal people. Yeah. You know, and they're, they're, they're the Australian, the white Australian government is trying to steal their sacred land yes, yes, from yes. them. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. that's what they do. They, that's they, what they, the Europeans did with the New Zealand and Australia. Steal. Well, New Zealand had some tough warriors, the Maoris. The Maoris, yeah. Oh. But they're finished. They're done. They are? Yeah, the Europeans have taken over. I guess. I guess. All the Maori do today is have their dances and. For the, tour, history, for the tourists, you know? yeah, for the tourists. That's yeah. all. Yeah. So I guess the guns of the uh, the British uh, overcame the uh, the Maori. Yeah. New Zealand is quite a uh, picturesque uh, uh, country. New Zealand is very similar to Japan. It is a mountainous, volcanic two islands. Island, yes, but it's very, uh, very mountainous. Volcanic mountains. They're volcanic yeah. mountains because like, they like, are on two. They are on two faults. Yeah. Well, most. Uh, I think all of your. In fact, the other day they they were having an a active uh, earthquakes going on. I I believe that all islands in the Pacific are volcanic. Yeah, islands. They were all pushed up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. I mean, the Caribbean has some volcanic islands but they're mostly like uh, a lot of them are coral atolls combined with volcanic you know but uh, the birth of a volcanic island is fascinating I I've seen it on a documentary but uh, yeah I mean uh, again back to this article you know Angelina Jolie the lies coming out of Dr. Offit's mouth uh, what your friend Esmeralda went through and she totally avoided this you know the subject of nutrition and alternative, alternative medicine and you know my relatives Gary knows relatives did the same thing to uh -huh. him they wouldn't pay attention to him uh -huh. it's all tied in it's, it's it's something about the human species that there some people are it's so easy to brainwash them and put them under a spell politically and with the health health well, industry it's because the, the official verdicts are respected. Well, they, they believe it's been going on for thousands of years. They, the prophets come in. The prophets come into Jerusalem and say, "Hey, God is going to do this and that and that and that," and they're not listened to. They believe the lies. Jesus it, said, "A prophet is not respected, especially in his own country and his so, own family." So, in other words, the brainwashing of what they've heard all their life is embedded in their minds and when somebody comes along and proves that the brainwashing was a lie and this this way is the better way they don't listen to the better way no they listen to the official the official verdict it takes a, a certain type of person to go against the official verdict my 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 friend iron man vinnie blake he he eats quaker oatmeal because he he trusts the old man's face on the box but that old man is is fictitious. Yeah. Like, well, oatmeal though is one of the grains which has not really been GMO'd. Uh, GMO'd and uh, defiled. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, okay. Not yet. That's good. That's They're good trying. Too. They do have that fast one, you know, that uh, fast uh, quick. Quaker quick oats or something. With loaded with sugar. Well, that's. I'm just talking about the grain itself. The and grain how to itself. Prepare. Yeah. I think you it's know? pre pre steamed or pre pre cooked or whatever. Yeah, I, I like fast. the I like the thick, rough, old fashioned rolled oats and, or yeah. steel cut. I like the steel Irish the oats. Irish steel cut oatmeal. Yeah, Irish you, 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 you boil it and then you put the lid on. You let it yeah. sit for I don't know how long. Pinhead. I used to make it. Pinhead I, oats. Pinhead oats. Yeah. Steel cut. 
But Dr. Offit's name is capital O F F I T. Correct. All right. Paul. Paul. Paul Offit. For Paul. example. Paul jerk off it. A single dose of the average vitamin C tablet provides nearly 1,000% of the recommended daily value. You have to eat eight cantaloupes or 14 oranges to get that amount. Oh God, the recommended daily allowance for vitamin C ascorbic acid is still, I believe, 60, 60. 60 milligrams. A person should be ingesting 500 to, a, to a, a gram of vitamin C a day for maintenance. Three times a day. 500. 3,000 a day at least. Just for maintenance? At least. For maintenance? At least. For maintenance? At least. Atkins used to say 500 to 1,000 milligrams. Not for a day. was alive. No way. Just to keep your head above water, yeah. No way. Now it's up to three grams? I wouldn't take three grams a day. I take eleven. Well, you you do the line. The Linus Pauling take uh, ten thousand. He took ten thousand just for maintenance. Yeah. Or for therapeutic purposes. Maintenance. Wow. But he was only taking. Uh, uh, what the hell's the uh, the basic vitamin C? Plain old ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid, correct. The real sour tart ascorbic yeah. acid. He wasn't taking a, a multi-mineral ascorbate, a, a buffered ascorbate. With the bioflavonoids and stuff like that. Right, right, right. Yeah. Which is, well, bioflavonoids uh, brings the uh, bioactivity of ascorbic acid up equal to natural vitamin C. Yeah. Like, you gotta yeah. keep, you gotta take equal amounts of bioflavonoids complex with the vitamin C. Yeah. And that will bring you to that will raise the biological activity. You'd have to eat eight uh, cantaloupes or 14 oranges to get that amount. That's an unnatural thing to do. Maybe our stomach is only so big for a reason. Maybe you're not supposed to eat eight cantaloupes at once. Dr. Louis Peicholz, Peicholz, Chief of Cardiology at Hackensack University Hospital. Oh my God, the infamous Hackensack University, the greediest hospital probably in the world. Wait a minute now. Is and a proponent of complementary medicine. Yeah, but you know what their complementary medicine is? Yeah, well. Ch well chiropractor. That's it, that's it. Huh? They don't do, I ask them, do you do uh, acu uh, reflexology or acupuncture? No. I say, no. Do you do uh, chelation therapy? No. I didn't even get into the other ther uh, alternative therapies. Well, he, he says, yeah. a vitamin pill is not a substitute for a healthy lifestyle or diet. Oh, he's a real smart cardiologist. A vitamin cannot compensate for another risk factor. Yeah, sure. Well, Dr. Atkins was originally a cardiologist, but he was a real cardiologist that was intelligent enough to go with alternative medicine. The late, great Dr. Robert C. Atkins. So, uh, that's enough. Right. I think that's enough uh, excitement for one after So it's all it is, it, it, the FDA, is the, every once in a while they trot out this propaganda, vitamins are no good, vitamins are no good. Remember, that's all it is. Propaganda. Okay? They don't want you to be healthy. We have a disease system in America called uh, health care. It's a disease system. It's a revolving door. Oh, that's right. They're all in cahoots with Big Pharma. If you're healthy, if you, uh, if everybody was like Gary Knoll or, or the late Jack LaLanne or Paul Bragg, you know, uh, if everybody was, had optimal health and physical fitness, just think of all Maybe the out of business. Just think of all the profit, big pharma, and the uh, uh, the, the hospitals and, and American healthcare system would lose all the profits. They would lose. Mm -hmm. Poor babies. I feel my heart bleeds for them. So any any of this, like I was telling Bill, he was talking about something about corporate or, or you know some information. I, I says, Bill, look at the source before you.
an, first of all, do your research. Yeah. Look at the source where the information is coming from. Who paid for it? They're going to be biased depending on who paid for the studies. They're going to be biased. But anyway, thank you for joining us for Progressive Discussions. We'll see you next time. Rod Willing and the creek don't rise. Yeah, it's amazing how, um, well, this weather, we just we just finished having one of the brutal, one of the most brutal heat waves in recorded history up here in the Northeast, and then it, we immediately went to fall weather, yeah. and now it's warm again. But that was good sleeping. Oh, when it got cool? Yeah. Oh, I bet you opened the windows when it got cool. My windows are always open. It was chilly that morning. The, the last day of the heat wave, when, when after the thunderstorms, mm. when the temperature dipped, I walked outside and it felt like September. I yeah, went fall. And I shut the AC off, man. I, well, I, I was like, you what the AC was on at night anyway. Yeah. Holy mackerel! You know, fortunately, I have not had to use in the last few years the AC at night ever. And in fact, the fan. You know how hot it's been. It's not been used at you night. You know how hot it's been this summer at night. Ninety percent of the time. You're, you're, you're wrong because it's been hot. It's hot and muggy at night. What are you Ain't kidding me? Ain't bothering me, baby. Ah, you're like... Uh, Ain't bothering me. I hate muggy. You're like Ken Create and, and his father. Oh, Ken shuts the air condition off at night and, and leaves the fan going. He goes, oh, I'm good to go. I says, what do you mean good to go? You know how fast your room gets hot in the summer? It, it's muggy as hell. It was, it was That one day it was... You. A hundred degrees outside. It was a hundred degrees in Teaneck one night. At 11 p.m. 11 p.m. So this this theory you have that every night open the windows, not in the summer. It's hot and muggy at night. Believe me. Ain't bothering me, baby. It bothers me. I can't sleep. I cannot well, sleep. You better not move to Florida. I cannot sleep. No, everybody in Florida's got central air conditioning. Well, yeah, you know. I cannot about, sleep if it's hot. I'm talking about going out and uh, trying to catch an alligator, you know. No. You, know, you can't, uh, don't, uh, you'll be in, 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 in humidity. Yeah, we're hunting bullfrogs for frogs. Oh, jeez. The poor like things. Like the duck nation. Yeah, they, like they, they, they the spare them. They gaff them. They use a flashlight and they, and they see their eyeballs glowing and they gaff the poor, yeah. poor things. But no. If it's hot, I'm tossing and turning. I am not sleeping. It. I gotta have a cool. You know what it is? It's not that it's gotta be cool or cold. It's mm. it's the humidity that makes yes, me uncomfortable. The humidity I don't like either. But it, I'm telling you, the, it ain't bother me at night. Well, I turn the ACs. I put you know, the AC. The, it makes it comfortable by removing the humidity from the rooms. Oh, well. Yeah. Ah, you just don't. You just hey, when I shut down the computer, I shut off the AC. Well, hey, well you you only allow you only stay online for a specified amount of time. That's correct. Ah, that's yeah, correct. That's Come exactly. on, I, 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 spend spend a little money in your life. Get out of here. Come on. Got another work to Don't do. Don't be a skinflint.